Hi, I'm Charles, and today I'm going to be making a floor mat out of recycled polyester lashing. They use this stuff to ship commercially. Normally it's fastened together with these metal lash things. So it's kind of like a ratchet strap, but instead of ratcheting, they use tensioners to pull it tight, and once it's tight, it holds in there. And then when it gets to where it's going, you just cut it usually throw it away so instead of letting it go to waste I've been taking some home from work there's a pile in the background and I'm going to use some short pieces to make a floor mat and I'm going to do this because I'm wanting to make a weighted blanket but I didn't want to start with a weighted blanket first and use a whole bunch I want to do something small like a, a welcome mat and then uh, go from there I'm going to be cutting it with some shears you can use scissors tin snips whatever and I'm going to be gluing the edges together with hot glue. I've got some clamps and some little chunks of wood. My theory is once I put some hot glue on it, I can clamp it in between the wood clamps to get some even pressure on it. And then um, got a tape measure and Sharpie. I've also got a square to try to keep it square, but I might just go off my sheet of plywood off the edge. We'll get started on this and see how it turns out. Well, this is pretty tough stuff. This one says it's rated for 11,000 pounds, and I'm guessing that's pulling this way. And yeah, like I say, this is stuff you'd use in ratchet straps and all that. But it is polyester, so it will fray a bit, and you could use heat to keep it from fraying too much. But as far as cutting, just take your time. You can actually go across, make it easy to make some square cuts if you follow the the weave of the fabric so that's what we'll be doing is measuring it cutting it and then weaving it all right i've got 12 pieces that are 32 inches long and i don't know about 20 pieces that are about 20 inches long. What we'll do is we'll start at one end, get our weave, and I'm gonna, instead of having the logo printing and all that on the upside, you don't wanna see the other people, so I'm gonna make sure I turn all the text down so that it shows up nice on the, the one side, hopefully it turns out well. So what I'm gonna do is, just a standard weave pattern, one on top, one on bottom, one on top, one on bottom. Well, I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap in between each one. And then what I'll be doing coming up from there is the opposite. I'll go over the one that was going under to start with. Give us our spacing we need. Leave a little bit of overhang we can come back in later and trim that up. No, oh, it wasn't even recording, of course. First one glue. That's that. So, I'll go ahead and have this ready to go. Get some glue on there. Put 
set up good. And what we'll do is we'll go all the way across here, glue all that, and then we'll keep on doing our weaving. And I've already already done a little bit of weaving here just to get my spacing right. Okay, we've got all the way across this top glued down. And now what I'm going to do is just push this up tight and then glue it just on the ends. So this end here and that end there. And then work our way down. Alright, we've made it all the way to the other end. And just like we did on the other end, we're going to glue every single connection. Starting from one end. And working our way across. Making sure everything's laying flat. Now that the hot glue is dried, we'll go down and trim down the edge. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. Part of me is thinking we might could even come back with a torch and just kind of lightly singe these ends so they don't fray later. I should have left a bit more. In fact, I did on the other side, and the other side would be easier to show this. here so I could trim it off there. All right, here we have it. The um the final product.
the, the mat. As you can see, there's the side with the writing on it and everything, so not as good looking. And then there's that side. Zoom in on it, let you have a good look. Depending on how the, the light hits it as to how it looks. So a couple of things I've learned before I do the the actual big weighted blanket. I think I'm going to definitely have longer pieces so they hang over the edge because trimming that close to the edge was was kind of tedious and as you can see it didn't work out exactly perfect. So I'm going to have some overhangs, so I've got plenty to, to trim on, even though there'll be more scrap. Oh, well, it's free. Um, and as far as a weighted blanket, I don't know. I might, I might leave the spacing the same. I might just get it tight like that. It'll probably be good. All right, one thing I noticed was this polyester strapping stuff will fray a bit on the edge. So I've got me a my torch out. Keep it from fraying as well. All right, here's some of the tools I used: a square, some clamps, hot glue gun, tape measure, shears, scissors, gloves, and a torch. So there's the free welcome mat woven. I'm Charles. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy.